an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly, you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. 
I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, uh, Junior, what's your name, sir? Robert Crawford III, sir. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. My name... My name is... Now, don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I want to perform on Broadway. Now, that's not important or relevant. I have been saved. I've been found. Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut. Do you think I'm a nice cop, cop of the third? I ain't interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Respects them as has it, but I got something better, way better than church. Besides the Jews, free, spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. The Lord God Almighty, or who, whomever built us, put our brains in here, but our souls in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky and complicated. Sir, I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey, it's whiskey and just causing the problem. You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English and old, sir. Gin! They drink gin. And what is gin made with junipers? And what does the juniper do? Creates movement in the sky. With your whiskey, made with grain as it is, it leaves the spine brittle. Hence your hobbling chalk, please. Stay down here a little. Won't take long. I was worse than you, sir. I was broke. Is that better? Just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit better.
You done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Why are we going so slow? You should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Yep. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Slow it down a bit. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. Take it easy, Arthur. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So how long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? This way, boy. Sure. 